G'day mates, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out on your CPAP journey but you're finding therapy a bit challenging, as most do, well here's an affordable comfort accessory that makes sleeping with CPAP easier, quieter and more enjoyable. It's called a VCOM by Sleep Res. And you place your VCOM between your CPAP tube and your mask. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nico, that's an awfully small CPAP tube you have there. Well, just remember guys, it's not the size of the tube that matters, it's how you use it. Now, the VCOM improves comfort by softening the airflow when you breathe in during inhalation. It has four holes in the middle, whilst it maintains the pressure when you exhale. Now, this reverse therapy has the potential to turn the whole CPAP industry upside down. But for now, let's just focus on comfort. It reduces mask and mouth leak. Now, in a recent study, adding a VCOM reduced chin strap use by a whopping 85%. Imagine that. No more chin straps. No more mouth tape. No more extra crap all over your head and face. It's hard enough as it is sleeping with a CPAP mask without adding all this extra gear just to try and stop air from leaking out your mouth. It also improves usage statistics. People use their machines for longer periods of time, obviously because they're more comfortable, and also reduces treatment emergent central sleep apnea and aerophasia, and all for 35 bucks. <laughs> Bloody unreal. All right, check this out. This would have to be one of my favorite CPAP hacks of all time. Now, travel CPAP machines, they're fantastic, but they have no sound abatement foam and they have smaller motors that run at higher revs. And because of this, they're slightly noisier than your full-size units that have all the foam and the larger motors. However, Uncle Nico's baby tube, <laughs> I don't normally use this tube, guys. I normally use a six foot tube. Um, VCOM. Mask. Now, this is my unit. I know this machine extremely well, and the noise is significantly lower when I add the VCOM. And the reason being is because it slows the airflow just a bit, softens that airflow, it means the motor isn't revving like it normally would. Absolute game changer. Honestly, if you have a Z2 or a travel CPAP machine and you're struggling with noise, or any CPAP machine, I guess, if you're struggling with noise, VCOM, whack it in and boom. Now the number one question on everybody's mind is will installing a VCOM affect apnea control? Treatment efficacy, is it gonna change anything other than comfort? And from the literature I've been reading, link in the description below, the answer is no. However, I am conducting my own research, my own studies on sleephq.com. Click if you'd like to join, and I'm comparing results prior to post VCOM installation, and I'll share them with you soon. Now, regardless of how those test results return, let's just say hypothetically, we get the results back and they show a 50% drop in apnea control when you install a VCOM. They won't, but hypothetically. Personally, I wouldn't even care. I know everyone be losing their minds on all the forums and bagging the shit out of it, not me. And I'll tell you why. When it comes to my beginner mates, those just starting out on their CPAP journey, I have but one objective. I keep it really simple, and that is make therapy comfortable. If they are uncomfortable, they will hate CPAP. And if they hate CPAP, they will eventually quit, which is why 50% do. And then efficacy is zero. Big fat donut. All right, so any device, no matter what it is, that improves comfort, that improves patient compliance, gets people using these things, gets a thumbs up from me. One little piece of information was noticeably absent in the literature and on the website, and that is, does using the VCOM reduce humidification delivery? And will it increase rain out? 
moisture build up inside the tube. Now I've been testing out this bad boy over here, the Luftwanstein Prisma 20A, what a beast, <laughs> unbelievable. And I've had no issues, but we're in autumn. So we're not in winter yet, but couldn't find any information on that. If I've just missed it, I apologize, but I did spend a lot of time reading and researching this product. Couldn't find any info. Let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, sleep well, make every moment count, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. G'day, mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.